Hey, 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 hey,
Usually companies, uh, no matter what company, they have a bit of varieties of this shape mouse, mice, mouse, mice, rats. And usually they will have uh, two, three maximum. But this is still series. I think still series has a lot of this kind of mouse, mice, mouse, rats. Also, do correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not very into a steel series but Zoe sent us a lot of theirs all very similar but different same same but different it really depends on what kind of hands you have and what kind of feels you want you know you got the the this grip the the this grip or the palm grip or the upside down grip I don't know lah why do you need all the same shapes and it, it turns out that you know different pro players have different Likings like even a few inches wide or a few inches thin. I'm a bit of a claw guy. I don't like to rest my palm, so I guess I get the shorter one. Yeah, the open one is a palm grip. It's it's high, but it's smoothened down, smoothed down, so you can put your, your hands. This one on the other hand, high, but boom. You get it? Boom. Ah, uh, I'll use this one before we. Turn on the PC. Hopefully, we don't have to really screw it in. Just hand screw it. It's supposed to be a lot more steady, but hand screw first, lah. No screwdriver. I just need to take this off. And there's something cool about this monitor. Oh, put it here for a moment. All right, moment of truth. Take this out. Woo! I was expecting to be a, a little bit brighter. Very interesting case. Mm. 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 Oh! Oh! Is that how it works? Oh! If you use like normal case, you know it's like slide out. It doesn't work like that. It, it works more of like... Uh. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. Let's see what's under the hood. We got a GTX. 16 GB of RAM. I do not know what else. Uh, we got the HP 80 Plus Platinum. Wow. Good, good power supply. There should be a SSD. Maybe it's the back of the case. Cable management, pretty good. Nothing very fantastic. Nothing too customized. Got a small radiator here. Water cooling. Seems like it's custom water cooling by Omen by itself. Oh, oh! They have a M.2 SSD. They have one, two, three, four, four SATA cables. This is interesting compartment. Ah! Brilliant. Brilliant, this is brilliant. So apparently you can just slot in a hard drive and then you have the SATA cable and power for your hard drive. Just put it in like that. Add your hard drive. Very nice, very innovative, very creative. I'm I'm quite surprised. Things I learn every day. No wonder I was wondering why is there so many SATA cables that's plugged in. Very, very cool. Okay, let's put it back. Then I think we can screw the monitor thing as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, there we go. See, you can, you can don't use it and use it. Okay, okay. There's no other SSD, there's only the M.2, which is 240 gigs, and we got a hard drive that's 2 terabytes, and then we have a recovery. i77700K, it's not the Coffee Lake, it's the previous generation, but still good, still good. 16 gigs of RAM, and yeah, let's. Let's check out what graphic card is there in this. And we have General. We got a 1080 inside. That's it. We got a 1080. Yes! Yes! At least we can show the full potential of this monitor. So while the game downloads in the background, I'm gonna show you what is the whole monitor setup. So this is the XL2546 Zoe monitor. It's uh, so this is 25 inch, 240 hertz per second that's 100 more than the normal 144 so this is really very useful because you know when you have to change settings you have to go press these buttons very ma fun ah. very ma fun so you have actually all these settings that will, will control the monitor you see all this yep then you can go back when it comes out of the box the setting is gonna be this let me show you oversaturated very very awful colors and this is done purposely because this is for gaming you want to see everything you want to see the difference of the the, the background and the player uh, number two is without diac if i'm not wrong so it's still very saturated but not so saturated a, a in between ground of gaming and you know stuff and then to show you again this is the normal setting that most accurate monitors 
uh, or portray. Let's say you want a profile to be movies, right? And you want it to number to be number one, so movies is pretty good colors. So you can actually press one and hold. There we go. Gamer one setting safe. One is gonna be this, and then three is the more accurate setting. So so you can save it to one, two, three. And this is very cool. If let's say you're going for eSports tournament and you know they are using Zoe monitors, you can just bring this remote and plug it into your monitor, Zoe monitor, and it's all the same. So it's interchangeable remote. You can't use it for other brand monitors, but if it's Zoe, you can do it. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna, we're gonna just put it into the normal color first. Okay, so the diet is gonna be very, very tough to showcase because of the camera but it really helps a bit with the motion blur. And honestly, as a non-professional gamer, I cannot see the difference. But apparently, pro gamers say it makes a difference. Because this map is not a lot of dark areas and stuff, it's actually lit up quite nicely. But you look at this, you can see a lot of the shadows. But one feature is the black equalizer. Let's put it with this. So you can kind of brighten up the blacks. If anyone's hiding in the shadows, you can actually see. So the Omen PC, 260 to 280 frames per second in DDoS2. That's pretty impressive. I mean, it's 1080 lah. So with the 1080 graphic card, you can actually use your monitor to the full potential. Although, although professionals still want to have more than 240, even with a 240 hertz monitor. It takes a whole video length to explain it. The shadows, so this is black up and uh, the black equalizer we go all the way down so you look at the difference so much difference if you want to see them in the dark shadows you have to bring it up it's gonna look a bit weird but you can see them a lot better before after PUBG let's see how many frames you'll get with the 1080 everything ultra we get about 100 100 to 110 huh? it's actually pretty smooth but you won't use this monitor to the full potential obviously and this is the normal accurate color if we try to bring it to the gamer settings yeah it's a bit too much a bit too much so we're gonna try to play uh, battlefield one so this is max settings we get about 140 frames per second obviously you shouldn't be messing out with the color saturation if you press the gaming setup it's gonna look quite horrible and a game like Battlefield 1 you want to make it look as real as possible so I I go with the movie settings this, this is the movie settings very realistic oh that, that, that actually looks really cool look at that look wow wow it's smooth the slow-mo top right you get about 120 to 140 frames per second so the conclusion for these two Omen PC and the uh, Zoe monitor. The monitor definitely is the, the top eSports CSGO monitor. If you want to improve your CS game and you're actually using a 60Hz with like 3 ms uh, response time monitor, this will definitely improve your game. This is also for pro players definitely. The diet is a bit hard to explain. People that play CSGO for extended time kind of see the difference especially pro players i can't see it but if it's for you then you should definitely get it if you don't you can actually opt out the diet version you don't have to have the diet and it's like 150 dollars cheaper this monitor will cost about 700 700 to 800 i will put the price somewhere the pc on the other hand although it runs really well i mean it's a 1080 it's a i7 it really runs smoothly no problems the only one side downside is the price the price is a bit steep at 3.2k but i mean it's hp it's a branded pc you get warranty how's the customer service that one is for y'all to judge for y'all to experience i've not yet experienced it yet i have installed my the monitor on my own pc uh, and remember to click here for more and click here to subscribe